New York Loft. Jessica Sensum, White House Black Market, Zad, Arrow, American Eagle, um, SM, I forgot who SM is now, SM, Chico's, Bourbons and Bowties, Coach, Liz and Company, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, you and I. That's a lot. A lot of people get confused on that one because they hold it upside down like I'm doing. That tag is. Oh, we'll have to do a tag show one day. That's you and I. See the U here, and the eyes in the center. And a lot of people don't get that one. It's you and I. That's the brand. That looks like Zad. Got Loft. Got such a tiny one, Monet. There's Zad. Chico's. I already did all those. You and I. Mark. That's Avon. Not sure what the Nine West. So no, I don't have a sugar fix. So I'm gonna have one now. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Well, there it is. It's on there. So the journey continues. I'm sorry I took it off that. You know, if somebody wanted to use it for theirs, but there'll be more. This is still really nice chain and a lobster claw clasp on that. All righty, that's going in the hobby box. Okay, this is fun. It's taking me forever to get this box done. Okay, we have some more charms here with the Gemini and a cross. And an M. Very cool. There is... Eh, I don't agree with that. There's... You've got the symbol of the woman. Eh. Um, here's a pretty gold tone one. Look at that heart with that tree. And this beautiful disc of pave set rhinestones. It's very pretty. It is magnetic. Oh, here's the back. That is a tree. That's a family tree. Family where life begins and love never ends. Very sweet. I love that. That's more like it. Here's a nice one. It's got um, friend and thank you and some rhinestones and an apple and a ruler. It takes a big heart to teach little minds. That's precious nice gift for a teacher see we have this stretchy one it's got little rhinestones and one's missing we're gonna put that in the hobby lot we have this one I don't see any marks and it's magnetic there's nothing wrong with it. It's like those um, David German bracelets. Knock off of that. And this one is missing a stone. It's got another place to add something. It is magnetic. That's going to go in the hobby a lot. I think these here 
are going in the Hobby Lot. That's magnetic. Because you can add um, charms to them. That's the only one that's not magnetic. Isn't that strange? So we'll see what it does. This is copper base. That's why this one's not magnetic. But I'm put those in the hobby lot. Somebody can make some bracelets with those. Or charms. Add charms to them. Okay. This is a beautiful piece. Filigree. Um, and the pearls and the diamonds are all, I mean diamonds, these rhinestones are all there. It's got the pin that's missing on the back. I'm going to maintain, keep this piece. Because I do like to do um, artwork with my jewelry pieces like that. Somebody asked me about that. Did I ever show it? And I have shown it before. Um, it's one that my dad and I made together. And I might take the camera over there in a minute and show you again maybe that person's watching maybe not I don't know okay here's that Christmas tree I did with my dad he has since passed but I keep it up all year long because it makes me think of him and it's made with brooches I collected that were broken And then I had it framed. It's on a black velvet background. And I've got another one upstairs, and I'm not going to go upstairs. And it's on a green um, cloth background, but it's very pretty cloth. And that one on the green cloth background is made with... Um, it's got pieces that made me think of all my family members. And it was made with uh, gold tone jewelry, brooches and earrings. That's a pretty butterfly bracelet. It's got some wear on it here. I see copper coming through. It's very cool, though. I do like it. Cute. We'll put that in the hobby lot because of the wear. Here goes the clock. It must be two o'clock. Been on here a long time with you guys. On and off, on and off. Because I have to stop and I had to make some lunch and. And I had to eat some lunch and then all kind of stuff. Okay, this is a little snap it. It snaps on. Very pretty. Probably goes on one of the rings. These earrings right here are sterling. They're marked on the stems. And they're little CZs. And they're beautiful. They're not little. Pretty big CZs. Very pretty nice earrings. Now, show you the other earrings. We have these. There's the backs. Are those Sarah Coventry's? Why do I keep thinking those are Sarah Coventry's? Here is, these are posts, and they're the lion. They go with that, um, Scarf clip. Very cool. Here's the backs. Oh, that needs to be straightened out. Okay, it's straightened out. These are very pretty. And these were in a little bag, so they may be sterling too. I hadn't checked them. They look tarnished. 
Very pretty. Teardrop CZs. I'm assuming they're CZs. Very pretty. That's not magnetic. So these cards are not magnetic, so I'm going to check to see if they're marked. I don't see any marks, so I'm going to do a quick rub. Oh no, they're copper based. That's why they're not magnetic, but they're still very pretty little teardrop CZs. The next pair was also put up. Golly. I wish those were James Avery. <laughs> eh, I'm wishful think thinking today. That just reminds me of a heart that he did. So let's see if there's anything written on the inside here. Not on that one. Oops. I'm going to loop these just to make sure, and then I'm going to test them with a magnet, which I probably should have done first. They're just very pretty. I like the little gold bead in the center, too. See, they're not magnetic. So, let's test them. Mm, they're not rubbing. Maybe it's my stone. Nope. So, I don't know. They might be pewter. Anyway, these are them. They're very pretty. I'm back in this little bag. That's the way they came in the box. These are very pretty. Got a southwestern look to them. Oops. They're in excellent condition. Here's the back both almost like I need to block off the sun there <clears throat> we had these very pretty oh they're different I thought they were a match but they're not That one's magnetic. That one is too. So those are not a match. I thought they were. Beautiful gold tone. I gotta be on the lookout for those tiny little pearls too. Wherever they may be. Those were single ear rings. They're gonna go in the hobby lot. Okay, we have these little earrings here. They are not marked anywhere, but they are testing silver, and I'm going to test them again. This is where I've rubbed them, these two places. One was this part of the earring on the lever back, this part. And the other was the little disc here. And we'll see what we get. away 
here we go. I don't see anything on that. That was the little disc. The back turned red. Let me do it again. Because I don't like the results of that one. The other one I took was very clear. <clears throat> this time you can watch me scratch. I was just trying to save some time. Okay, here's this one. And we're going to do this one. And then we're going to do this, the edge of this little disc here. So let's see. One, two, three. <clears throat> nope. Nope. And nope. So let me make sure I clean this off good that I'm not picking up from other... So these are not sterling, but they're very cute. I don't know why that one turned red. That's weird. Very cute little lever backs. <clears throat> Next pair we have are these. Gold tone. They look like they have something written on them. Let me see if I can read it. It's got a sun and a moon. It says Italy. And I don't know what that means. These need to be cleaned. Let's see if I can get it. To... I don't know if that's Carolyn Pollock or not. Come on. You see that to the left, that one up here, this, this looks like sun rays and a hat and a crescent moon. There's the Italy. <clears throat> I think this may be bronze and silver, I mean bronze and gold. It's not magnetic. So let's test it for gold. Let's see what we get. Looks like there's copper underneath that to me. We just try the 10 carat first. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> Waiting for it to disappear. And it looks like it's gonna disappear. So it's not gold. It must be copper over gold because when you rub it, you get a copperish undertone. So that's interesting. They are marked deadly, and they've got a signature on them, which I don't know what it means, and they're not magnetic. I didn't test this. See what it does. It's 
got the same copper undertone. Nice hoops. They're not too heavy and they're not too light. They look like they would hold their shape well. They need polishing and cleaning. But very nice hoops. Here's some more hoops. Let's see if they're magnetic. <clears throat> yes, they are, so we don't have to test them. Very cute, though. Here's some pretty earrings in silver tone. The swirls, very ornate. Nice clips, I mean nice um, French wires. Here's the back side, they're in excellent condition. Just need a little cleaning. Here are some clip backs. These are very pretty. I don't see any names on them, but I love the design. And they have purple enamel. Very beautifully done. Here's some more enamel earrings that are Need to be straightened out their post. I think because of the weight of these bags, it often bends the post, and you just have to straighten it back out, which is what I'm doing on these. Now, this one may give me trouble, it may break. It may not. Well, there you go, I got it. But these are very pretty, enamel and pearl. Post earrings. <clears throat> Here's some more clip backs. They have enamel in the middle, a lot of pretty beadwork on that. Here's the back side. Looks like it says India on there. Under here. And he's back, and I'm still taping all by myself. So I clean these before I send them out. Did you get everything? Uh, yeah. They're not magnetic. But I don't think they're silver either. Very cool earrings. We have these little enamel J hoops. And they're in green and beige. Uh, let me turn them up so you can see them. And then here's the green ones. Very pretty and good shape. They will still be cleaned. All earrings are cleaned. Because I just can't have it any other way. And they are magnetic. Here's some more beautiful clips. Here's the backs. Love the pearls in the center. Beautiful gold tone. Excellent condition. Here's some little gold tone leaves. 
this in the center, I don't know what it is. I think it's um, some kind of resin to make it look like jade. These are pretty. Oops. They're marked. Roman. Very pretty. All the rhinestones are there. Nowhere on the on the metal. There's some circle. These look like they're almost like um, stainless steel. They have such a pretty look to them. There's no wear on them. And they're clip backs. I mean, they're post. Here's some more post with some blue enamel or black. I think black. And they are marked, looks like, Napier. Yeehaw. These backs are marked, too. Now, a lot of times I throw those away, but when I get marked ones that match the earrings, I'll leave them on there, but they'll be cleaned. Won't take the yellow out of them, though. Nice ones. The next are... Beautiful gold tone, textured rope. Oh, and these are not magnetic. Maybe. Yeah, they are. They're slightly magnetic. I don't see any marks. They're very pretty. We have these gold balls. We have these chandelier type earrings that are very pretty. We have the golden pearls and the golden rhinestones. Like everything is there. Yeah, those are in excellent condition. Here's some little rhinestone post. hoops. They are not magnetic. Wait a minute. This part is not. They have a copper base. This one needs to be polished. This one. I don't know if we can get it to that standard again. Okay, see it polished up real nice. In fact, now I need to polish the other one. Oh boy. But I'm not going to. Here's some little love knot. Little love knot earrings. Little post. Here's some little red hoops. Let's see, we've got matching hoops here and here. They're, they look like they're um, artisan made. And then we have this pair here with the rhinestones. And then this pair. Well. 
If I would back out, you could see what I was doing. I have this pair. This pair with rhinestones that are missing is going in the Hobby Lot. These are organic in shape because they're artisan made and they're very lightweight. I'm going to put them in the Hobby Lot because I think you could do some things with those. And we have this pair that's gold tone and black enamel. Here's the back. These are in excellent condition. Clips. We have these little studs that are pearls and gold beads. These are vintage, so they have wear on them. We have these pairs, some more J-hoops. I don't know if they're just tarnished, but it looks like it's supposed to be silver and gold, but this is a darker metal. See if I can rub any of that off. Hmm. That sounded good. No, I think it's going to be just dark metal and gold tone. Here's the underside. It's like it's gunmetal and gold. There are these little post earrings that are leaves that are very cute. Very nicely done. Nice to put on quick earrings like this just to have some earrings in your ears when you go out. Instead of a blank hole in your ear. I don't know if these are nose rings or ear rings, but they're in very good shape and they're very pretty. They look like earrings to me. Some more hoops. Some clips. And I don't know if they're just supposed to be these little bars and nothing else. They're both made like that. Let's see, is that it? Yeah, the rest of these are single earrings. And we had one down here though. This one is 925 sterling. This is a 925. And on the front of it, it has, what would Jesus do? That's silver, and I like this one, but there was no match. And like I said, these don't match when, when I thought they did. This is a Coro piece earring. We had these with the star and the pearl. These are pretty. The enamel work on that's really nice. Heavy plated. These were pretty. They looked um, southwestern to me. Oh, this is a pen. Oh, forget it. Well, yeah, that's great. That makes me happy. So, yeah, we'll keep that. There's this one here. Post earring. I don't think it had anything on it. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, and I just dropped it. Never to be found again. I'm just teasing. I'll have to look at it, get it later. This was another favorite I wish they would have had a match to. It's a clip post. It's a post with a clip back. Isn't that cool? Nice butterfly earring, nice heart earring, here's a little elephant, that, heart, 
almost looks like it could be silver. Maybe I can keep this one in my hand without dropping it. Yeah, I don't see any markings. I'll just do the easy test. Oh yeah, it's not magnetic. Alrighty. We'll give it a quick rub. Oh, it looks silver. Yeah, that's going to be silver. Let me just test it real quick. Very silver. Pretty little heart. Earring. Don't see any marks. Except there. So that's probably silver too. Well, let me keep looking. Here's a duck. I missed that one. Here's a little earring here. Oh, Liz Claiborne. Here's another one. Another heart. It's a pretty cool one. This is cool too. I wish I had the other one to this one. The front and back earring. You look good coming and going. And these are the rest. There's a little peace charm here I'm going to put in the hobby lot. Oh, it's not magnetic. I better check it. These were the other earrings, miscellaneous. These look vintage. Oh, they're marked too. I hate it when it does that. Marbella, Marbella. Ooh, I wish I had to match to that. Anyway, guys, that's it on that and but we're not done I'm gonna test this real quick well I don't think that's silver at all but we'll test it Okay, in the hobby lot it goes. All right, let's get the last of this. Okay, here's some bangles we have. These are pretty. And then these are just stackable ones with designs and solids and texture. I'm gonna put those together. Two brass, could be paired up with some other larger brass bracelets if you wanted to. Oh, it doesn't come apart. So it's a small puzzle brass. These two are going in the Hobby Lot. This has a nice print on it, stamp print. In great condition, silver time. And then we have this one with Rivoli stones in them. I love the branch look of this, it's very pretty. It's a very pretty bracelet. It's, um, it's larger. I have a lot of room in here, so a larger wrist can wear it. 
I don't see any marks. I don't see any wear. So that's an excellent piece. We have a Lexus keychain from Richmond, Lexus of Richmond. We have an XOXO, just the uh, watch part with rhinestones surrounding it. We have an old Sarah Coventry watch. Even got a stainless steel, very pretty, very old, very vintage. We have another vintage watch with a very small face. Pulsar. That's a nice one, vintage. Here's a pretty one. Christmas or for Thanksgiving, um, for um, Christmas or Valentine's. Beautiful mother of pearl face. Chantilly. It's in excellent condition. All the stones are there. The back of it's really pretty. Beautiful. Here is just a no-name watch that's running. Yay. We always like that. And I believe that's the correct time. Here's an extender for a watch. Or a bracelet. Here's another watch, just a plain silver tone. Stretchy watch. Here's a large faced Kanima. It's got rhinestones, the gold tone face, rhinestones inside the dial there. Fold over class in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it's been worn at all. Maybe it's not running. Okay. Here's a Timex. Has a date. Nice watch. Stretchy. Men's watch. Here's a vintage watch that's very um, corroded. And it's running. Wow. Carriage. Look at that. Do you know this old corroded watch here was running? <clears throat> running away. Ticking away. It's been through something. That wasn't set, so I don't know. What time is it, honey? Uh, about almost quarter to three. Yeah. I don't know that I can get it out to set it. Or either it needs severe cleaning. I don't know what's going on with it. That is weird. Here's the next one. It's metal. Silver tone. Stretchy. It's in beautiful shape. It's not running, but it could probably just need a battery. Here's a watch band that's magnetic, as you can tell. Here is an old watch. Anchor, I hadn't heard of that. Anchor. Stretchy. No way. Okay, there we go. Stretchy. I like old watches. Wonder where they've been. BC. Birth singer. I don't know. 
It's um, mixed metal and a matted silver tone and polished gold tone. Here's the back side. It's in excellent condition. Here's a sweater clip. Foots up, clips on. Here is some more watch bands of the magnetic type. I don't know which watches these go to. You know, the Fitbit or the other ones that are out there. Now that looks like it goes to this. Yep. It came off. Well, I tell you, these magnets are great.